going. It goes away after a few few seconds. I guess that must be the I don't know what that is, the bearing or on one of the pulleys down there. You guys tell me. So yeah, I'm just I haven't started this in a few days. There's still a little bit too much snow. Uh, a little bit too much snow to I guess I can close this. A little bit too much snow. I got the the code reader on it, so if it starts to misfire, but there's a little bit too much snow for me to and ice. Right now is when it's like you break through. And I don't want to go down that road, drive up and down that road, and uh, I gotta hide. The truck is sitting on the ice, but I don't want to go down that road and bust it through too much because my poor aunt's car will get uh, stuck in there. And I'll just show you. <laughs> die ice, die. Wait, that's for winter. That's for being cold. That's for being. Anyway, yeah. I have snow issues and ice issues. Now to do the, if you suddenly just see like a earth sky, earth sky, you'll know what happened. It is glare ice here. Oh, look at that beautiful muddy grass. It's almost uh, thawed dog poop season. Yeah, some of that dog poop was from my poor girl Lacey. I want to miss her. You can see it a little bit opened up there. This is open up. See everybody, people come up by road and they, they always like the driveway kind of does like a bigger a bit of a squiggle. So you got to kind of come out this way a bit, but everybody always ends up here. You see where a uh, guy that picked me up the other day there, John, <laughs> ended up almost in the tree. But you can see how like it cuts through here and then uh, what ends up happens, we get massive, massive rust. We, we try to ditch it the best we can. But see, oh, look at that beautiful mud. Let's go have a look at the beautiful mud. I'm just going to let the truck run for a couple of minutes. Uh, so, me and uh, another guy, Chris, have been kind of pondering what it could be. He was a diesel mechanic for a few years and stuff like that, but without without it doing the thing it was doing. Oh, look at that beautiful mud. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. Ugly snow. Beautiful mud. Ugly snow. Uh, but he's saying it could be an injector thing too. Try some fuel injector cleaner. But I do run fuel injector cleaner in, the, in that truck. Like I do all my vehicles, but every three tanks. Now, I've also had somebody tell me that the wind go by. Of course, when I'm on a speed, that's when the wind, wind kicks up. Hang on. I've also had people tell me too that uh, when people don't use fuel injector cleaner, like listen to it. That's a perfect running truck, you know what I mean? But when uh, people don't use fuel injector cleaner uh, and then they use it, sometimes it breaks loose stuff in the injector and clogs an injector. But if it did it once, it'd do it all the time. Like, other than a little bit of a belt squeak there, it's a pretty damn good sounding engine, right? So what is it? I have a feeling it's going to be more of a wiring problem, which is going to be a freaking nightmare so no dash lights on yet i just gotta let it run for a minute or two up to up to temperature oh the truck's already up to temperature this truck gets up to temperature relatively fast or not oh no that's the oil pressure sorry yeah see the other truck the oil pressure was always a little bit low this one always stays a little bit high um uh yeah so it'll take a little while to get up to temperature battery's looking good yeah so oh i miss driving i wish life wasn't always so freaking jackass and hard oh there's a chip out of my hood what there's a scrape from the pan i might be from my scraper i'll have to touch that up Oh, truck's pretty messy <laughs> that is a messy truck it's a pretty truck but uh look like hardly any rust on it whatsoever like there's rust on it i mean it's 2006 right but like the the mega rust is uh, look at all the oil spray like yeah 
And I'm gonna do it again in the spring too. My studs are rusting. Look at that. My studs are rusting. I still probably got another two seasons out of those tires. They're good tires. Uh, they're big. I mean, they're 17 285s. Uh, yeah, LT 285 70 R17. And these are mountain snow. They're basically like an all season tire, but they're they're a winter tire, so with rusty studs. Rusty studs. So the snow in the box, it's, done, uh, it's about half. <laughs> about half. Yeah, there you go. And melting it away. Poor truck needs a lot of cleaning. Look at all the white stuff in there. It's like a white sprinkle. What the heck is that? What is that? My truck's dirty. Who got my truck so dirty? I wonder what that is. Oh, that must be from the tree sap. I have no idea. No freaking idea. How's that engine looking? I'm just going to let it run up to temperature and then... This time of year, if you start it every couple of days, you don't have to worry about your battery going low. But I disconnect my battery anyway. Uh, when I don't use it, just... You know, that way, no parasitic drain, but... The days are starting to get into the pluses. Look at this. The truck's about six inches in the air, and I'm standing about two feet in the air. Yeah. And there's still, well, the deck from, I think that's seven or eight feet from the top railing to the ground, and you can see, <laughs> I saw the snow off the roof there. Still quite a bit there. The barrel out in the middle of the field there. That barrel's three feet tall, so still two and a half inches of snow out there. Oh, the, hey, there's my trucks. That's where they are. Poor Brutus back there. Sailboat, sailboat's pretty cleared off. The trailer, it's really crusty. I can't get any more than that off of it, but that'll melt really quick. It's not too much on there right now, so. My canoes have a lot on them. Holy, let's go have a look at the canoes. I'll come back to poor Thunder in a few minutes. I want to drive it down the road to test it, but uh, the problem uh, with that is that there's not much of a, like a, like a, a shoulder on the road right now because of, oh, look at that. I guess that roof let go uh, there's not much of a shoulder on the road and if uh, I stall out in the middle of the road that's gonna be really bad eh, somebody's spare tire label thing Jackie thing oops how did that get there put that over there sardine can a frozen sardine can uh, I'll chuck it in there Deal with that in this, well, technically the spring. Oh yeah, look at my canoes. Holy smokes. There's like, where's my other canoe? Oh, it's on the ground, I think. Or on the lower. There's poor, poor Brutus. I don't know what's going to happen to him, but I'm going to have to get some of these vehicles out of there this year. I want to clean up back there as much as I can so I can put a garage there if I can afford a garage. If everything goes according to plan, which probably, I haven't heard anything back about from my buddy Sam there for, uh, for going up north so I don't know if he'll call I have a hunch he's going to call me tonight and uh, he'll say oh they're either going to delay it or uh, so there's going to be something you know because it's too good to be true right so yeah you can go up there and make a whole bunch of money and do doing something you like doing yeah uh, it'll fail it'll fail well I mean that is what it is hopefully it doesn't uh, June's still a long way away so a lot can happen between now and then so I'll just let this run for a bit more Go take my stove ashes and maybe spread those out on the road help melt some of this ugly 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 stuff yeah there you go so i'll let this run for a bit there we go